for taking time to come over and visit with me. I'm Ron Fritz is cooking again. I'm Fritz, and guys, it's Wednesday, so I reckon y'all know what time it is, guys. It's time for another Working Wednesday, guys. And on this video series, it's going to be dedicated to all those hardworking women and hardworking men out there, guys. We're going to try to get you something on that table that's going to be nutritious and delicious in less than an hour, guys. And Well, I don't know how, much, how nutritious it's going to be, but I guarantee it's going to be delicious. But, guys, this video series is actually trying to help people plan ahead and get something on the table everybody is welcome over here so guys what we did was i took you along for the trip guys i i picked up some of my favorites my crinkle cut fries i thawed them out and i've got them uh, I've, I've doused them real good with the olive oil and that just makes them cook so much quicker in my cook's essential uh, uh 1500 watt air fryer guys along with that guys i picked up some cod i went ahead and washed it off a little bit and i've got it pat and dry and what we're going to do is we're going to fry it up in some of my Moss's hot and spicy breader mix, guys. I am in love with this stuff. Y'all have got to try it. I promise you, it is fantastic. Guys, we're going to make a batter with uh, club soda here. And I've actually added uh, probably about a cup of panko down in here as well. So I got my canola oil coming up to temp. So let's get to frying, y'all. All right, guys, this is just going to be something simple and easy. We're having, we're going English on y'all. We're having fish and chips tonight, y'all. All, All right, right guys, guys, let's get to making our batter here. I've probably got about two cups of the Moss Hot and uh, Spicy Breader Mix, and I'd say a good cup of the Panko in here, guys. Now let's go ahead and take our Ice Cold Club Soda. Let's go ahead and make us some batter, y'all. Okay guys, I lightly dusted our cod with a little bit of the moss here, guys. Now what I want to do is get it on down into the wet batter here. Alright guys, let's go on and get it into the fryer. Away from you. Alright guys, let's take a peek at these bad boys. Oh yes. That's what I'm talking about right there, y'all. Alright guys, we're almost done with these. Alright guys, let's go ahead and pull these bad boys. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about right there. All right, guys, we got our fries going. Got all my dishes done, got the little grease party here cleaned up, and all we're doing is just letting her stay warm up in the oven until our fries are done. All right, guys, we're going to get right back with you. All right, guys, we got our working Wednesday feast over to the table, and tonight, guys, we're having fish and chips, guys, and I'm just doing this in honor of all my English friends. Take a peek at that, y'all. Ain't that next level yummy? I got Mama plated up with her fish and chips, and I got me plated up with mine. All right, guys, I made some homemade tartar sauce, of course. And we got a little bit of malt, uh, malt vinegar to go on it and some ketchup. All right, guys, this ain't nothing extravagant. This is just uh, down home eats. All right, guys, we're ready to rock. Looks like Miles ready to dig in. I'll try some of my tartar sauce. Wow. Is it good? Dripping. Is it? Is it? Mm -hmm. 
Better than Long John Silver's? Heck yeah. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. All right, guys, forgive my hands, but I'm going in. All right, guys, let's get a little bit of dippity doo of my tartar sauce. I love my tartar sauce, guys. Like I always say, the key to that is onion. Good. Oh my God. It's fantastic. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Damn, I swallowed that whole. After the malt vinegar. Mm. Yeah, that blows Long John Silver's out of the water, not. Sure does. There's a greasy. Mm mm mm. I love fish, guys. My favorite flounder. Cod's in second place. Mmm. Good golly, Miss Molly. Mm. I gotta get me a chip. How are them fries taste? Oh, they're excellent. They're better on deep fried. You love marrow fried, don't you? Sure do. Mm -mm. Yeah, I think I'm getting accustomed to them too. Mm -mm. Well, guys, I'm gonna get after this. Um, I'm here to tell you it's just it's pure ambrosia, and I'm hoping y'all will uh, give this a shot, and I'm hoping y'all will actually try some of that uh, uh, Buffalo Mills Company out of North Carolina. Get some of their uh, some of their uh, milled works, guys. They got some. Like I said, the hot and spicy breader mix. They've got a chicken fry. They got a seafood fry. They've got uh, white and yellow grits, and they've got all kinds of cornmeal, uh, self-rising white and yellow. And I, I'm here to tell you guys, just uh, and hush puppies too, hush puppies. But I think I've got uh, one of the nice ladies that works there actually gave me a, another hush puppy recipe, and I'm gonna try that out for y'all. And I'm hoping y'all will come back and join me. But uh, Guys, I reckon we're going to see y'all Friday for cooking tips and household hints. Look at that beautiful fish, y'all. Man, oh man, sakes alive.